Well, going off what Adam just said, has anything in Don of the Last Ever season surprised you, given where the character started? Um, I, I'll say that I was surprised the first couple times, and then I was like, oh, well, this is a full speed ahead train, and I have no idea where it's going, so now I'm just like rolling with it. I have no idea what, what Pam's ever going to do, and it's kind of fantastic. So yeah, now I'm just like, well, there's nothing she can't do. Yeah, and I actually I got uh, I got to start writing Pam's uh, Twitter feed last season, and so I've gotten to kind of play around with like what happens in her personal life when she's not at ISIS, and it's been really fun. And uh, like she's in a junk band, she is a um, she's a bouncer at a strip club called Crammers. <laughs> she does dinner theater, like all these crazy things that Pam does when she's not at work. So she she's she can do anything I think. That'd be really cool if some of that stuff winds up into the show at some point. Yeah, I know. That's what kind of every time I write something, I'm like, oh, maybe they'll take this idea and run with it. But the animators started um, making uh, pictures of some of the tweets. Like there was one, it was the inventor of Ready Whip's birthday. So I tweeted about that because Pam would be excited about that kind of thing. <laughs> and they did a picture of Pam naked and all she was wearing was Cool Whip and, or Ready Whip. And it was amazing. So things like that have happened yep. that have been really cool. That's great. What do you think is your favorite line that you've ever had to say? As oh my god. Um, I, I like I like a lot of the stuff that she says to Cheryl because it's not particularly dirty. It's just like kind of shitty and off the cuff. <laughs> um, like when she called her neck bones. Um, I think was one of my favorites. I also love Holy Shit Snacks. It's so fun. Um, um, yeah, and then some of the more horrifying things, like uh, drown a toddler in my panties. People love that. My mom's like, oh my god, Amber. But my mom can't watch the show because she gets it's too much for her to do it. Uh, but yeah, most of the stuff she says is just like, well done, Adam Reed, well done. Related to that, what are your thoughts when you first get a script for Archer and see what, as you said, uh, Pam's always up to new things. Mm -hmm. like, uh, she was in a Yakuza street race in yeah. an episode. Yeah. Have you ever gotten a script and been not just surprised, but a little worried about what the big thing you can to say or do next? Um, there's been, there's the, dr the drown a toddler in my panties line. I was like, oh my god, really? Oh my god. Um, and so there's been a couple that, because I, I do improv and I have I have no problem with going blue. Like, I'm totally fine with this. It's not what I always do, but um, I'm usually a little bit like, oh my god, how are they going to get away with this? This is totally going to get censored. Um, but I think because we're an animated show, we get away with a lot more than we would if it was a live action show. Um, so yeah, I, I'm cool with all of it. Yeah. Well, uh, when you say improv, have you been able to improv in your mind since your script? Um, you know, the scripts are so good that there's not a lot of reason to, but a lot of times what happens is uh, Adam will improvise with us, so he'll write a line and then maybe it's not exactly what he wanted, and so he'll be like, well, try it this way, and then I'll try it, and then I'll have an idea, so I'll try it another way, and so we kind of do some improv that way, and he's totally cool with it, it's just a lot of times you don't need to, because the script's so good. I saw you guys at Archer Live earlier this year, which was awesome. Which one? Uh, the one in New York. Oh, cool. It was really cool. Are you guys looking forward? I think uh, Krieger said you guys were doing another one. Yeah, we're going to Austin in next month in L.A. So that should be really exciting. It's super fun just to hang out with everybody. Yep. And John isn't here yet, but he's so ridiculous to travel with. And, you know, when we're in a small town, like, not a small town, but like in a smaller town than L.A., we kind of have to hang out together after the shows. Yep. And it's we've gotten really close that way. It's been really fun. Anything else? Well, what would you like to see Pam? It's hard to imagine what else she hasn't done, but what would you like to see Pam do? You know, I want to see, I kind of want to see like more of Poovy Farms. Like I'd like to see like what her family looks like and her sister Edie that got brought up last season. And um, I'd also maybe like to see Pam like with a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Could it be just for, uh, it could be Archer, but that'll never be Archer. <laughs> um, but just to kind of see like the softer side of Pam and then have, she has a terrible breakup and goes back to Pearl itself, but that'd be kind of fun. Well, you could just put it on the Twitter feed. I know. That's what I got to do. Just invent it. Just got to do. Right.